I am going to be doing a little behind the scenes of how I get some of the footage and I will be showing you the footage that I get while I shoot. I hope that makes sense. Anyways, I am at Kenneth Han Park in Los Angeles and I will be trying to because <laughs> I don't know what I'm gonna find yet but the goal today is hummingbirds and comorons or anything by their lake because they do have a lake down there so that is what I'm gonna be doing today let's see how it goes as I am um, recording I will be showing you what I capture so BTS let's go <music> I am going to be filming and photographing the hummingbirds in there. I'm gonna go down this way and see what I get. I have already seen some near this feeder behind me. One just flew over my head. I always like when they do that. One just flew over my head, but me and my bebe here are gonna do, do some work and show you what we get. This is the only thing I have issues with this lens. When you get too close, you see nothing. It's so frustrating. I might have to switch lenses. Oh, no way. Well, yeah, because it's. Oh, well, for the high one, to get the V's. I just don't want to do the mental gymnastics of figuring out how close or how far I am. Because oh. <laughs> I'm already doing like. Oh, too close. Oh, too close. <laughs> Jeez. See, this works. Yeah, I'm going to switch out this lens to do the... And then I'll have to switch back to do the hummingbird. You know, we'll focus on the hummingbirds. You have the bees a macro are going... lens? Huh? You have a macro lens? No, this is not macro. I have a regular... Um, 18 to oh i got you yeah like, like so i was thinking lens? yeah no it's not a kit lens no. like a 18 to 105 okay so i figured out oh is it an f4 f2.8 f4 f4 okay yeah like a g uh, well it wouldn't be g it wouldn't it's be a g like the yeah. yeah okay i know which one you're talking about it's a good lens let's see the birds god hummingbirds are like we shall not stay still. <laughs> They're so fast. Oh my goodness. Frustrating. Finches? Huh? I like finches. I get them in my yard. Oh. But like humming, I get hummingbirds too. Oh but, wow. Yeah. So you don't have to drive all the way here for this. Well, I only have one. And oh. then it's not like a variety. It's just that one Anna's hummingbird Anna's. and it's green and um, that's it. <laughs> there's like here Rufus. And Allen's. And yeah, I, can't, can't I don't. I don't the get the Allen's in my yard. Uh, yeah. So if I want like a variety, sometimes I'll just go to. Uh, oh, wait, here we go. Oh, no. And with hummingbirds, you 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 can't even not shoot at at least one twenty frames per second. Right. Because they're so, so fast. fast. Too fast. All right. I have found a couple of hummingbirds and bees, so I will be taking pictures. I'll try to. <laughs> if you know how fast hummingbirds are, then you know this is a task. Um, bees and hummingbirds. Here we go. Oh, look at you. They're right in front of me. Look at you. Darn it. I 
I'm definitely switching lenses. Alright, so I'm gonna switch out my lens only because um, they're so close. I don't see. And I know I'm gonna regret this. Actually, no, I'm gonna let's do this. Ugh. And it's gone. We're keeping the lens and just focusing on one part, um, which is the distance of where I am. I am filming some hummingbirds. I have seen some Anna's hummingbirds, Alan's hummingbirds, and I'll show them to you in this footage. Again, as you're watching this footage, <laughs> hummingbirds are probably one of the hardest birds to film because of how fast they move. But it's so satisfying filming them because again, when you get that shot, you're like, oh wow. Um, but yeah, so I am gonna go over there now and film some squirrels. Bees, squirrels, the works. Let's go. Alright, so I'm filming squirrels right now. There's a squirrel right there eating. Um, I think there are like nuts in there. I can't really see it. So my camera's busy doing its thing. And after that, um, I'm gonna move to film some birds. There's a little water fountain. There's a little water fountain, uh, uh, just not too far. I'm gonna film some birds there. You can watch this footage too. So squirrels and birds in the water fountain footage. And this is exciting. I love it. Uh, this is BTS, how I get my shots. Most of the shots you see in my TikToks and my YouTube, this is the work that goes on behind the scenes. It's a lot of work. <sighs> it's The sun is out, but it's not super hot. I mean, I have my sunglasses and I have my, always gotta wear the hat. You gotta wear the hat, protect yourself from the sun. And um, let me show you something, there's peanut butter on this thing right here. You know what, let me stop recording and then I'm gonna take you around this place for like two seconds, okay? All right, so we're here. This is my camera. I see a bunch of bees right there. Let's see how close I can get. Oh, no, I'm not gonna get stung or anything. And then the peanut butter. A lot of the bigger birds come on here to um, get a taste of the peanut butter. And a lot of the hummers also come here. Say hi to my camera. We're gonna leave my camera there. And just kind of, it's not that big. Oh, this is the water fountain that I was shooting at earlier. The birds kind of land on there and, you know, they can bathe. But mostly um, drinking water shots bees. Bees are all over this place today. So, again, I'm at Kenneth Han and it's the hummingbird garden. I'm sure you can see that. The hummingbird garden. It's like a bunch of hummingbirds and lots of flora. It's a little tiny walk. You've seen the ground squirrels. Let me show you again. Then they have more bees. Again, what attracts hummingbirds attracts bees. I know that for a fact because I have hummingbird feeders in my yard. Look at that. Oh, that's and they're not afraid to land on your camera or anything because they've been on my camera. 
Um, and I see wasps, I see bees. So, I mean, it extends all the way over there, but um, the hummingbirds usually stay on this side. Ugh. All in my ear, bees, all in my ears. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna continue shooting, show you what footage I am getting. I'm just gonna try and get more hummingbirds. Look at it, there's a bunch of them right there right now. Oh, look, 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 look. It's a bunch of them right now. Look at that. Oh, I'm missing that shot. That does not matter. Oof. Oh. Oh, B. All right. Let me go back to my camera. All right, I am shooting the coolest thing right now. I just saw um, one of the birds eating eating peanut butter which is actually pretty cool and then the birds I mean not the birds the bees the birds and the bees bees swarming the feeder uh, you can watch that footage right now all right, so I am going to I am going to head on down. There's a lake down that way. I know you can't tell what that way is, but I'm gonna head on down that way and um, try to see if they have cormorants. It's a beautiful lake, and they do have cormorants. Oh my God, more peanut butter shots. Excuse me. <laughs> oh, shoot. All right, I'm gonna head on that way. I'm gonna get the shot and then head on that way. Oh, let's go. So I'm walking to where the um, lake is. Not walking. I'm gonna drive down there. Walk to the car first, and then from there go to the lake. It's parking over here. I am working on a couple of documentaries, some mini documentaries. One about Comorant, not Comorants, well actually I will do Comorants too, um, herons, Canadian geese, but also about urban life and urban landscapes, urban life and wildlife and how the two kind of merge. Um, if you look back here, let me show you. You can see like in this area as much wildlife and nature as we have. You can see there's um, a lot of homes and urbanization going on on the other side and of course there's this park that has actual parking <laughs> versus dirt roads so I'm gonna do a little dock and a playground I'm gonna do a little dock about that all right heading off to the lake Alright y'all, so we're at the lake and what we see or what I can see right now from where I'm sitting are Canada geese, a whole bunch of them. I don't see any cormorants yet. Let me see, I see ducks, a bunch of geese. I see a bunch of Canada geese and a bunch of ducks, no cormorants for sure. So I'm going to go ahead and film some of them and enjoy, enjoy the footage, okay? Friends, you don't have to run for me. Oh, it's been a while since I've seen these goose. Look at you. That is, I think that's a gray lag -like goose. Let's see, let me get a video of you. If there is no Canada geese fight, I don't know if we're here. <laughs> It has to be a Canada geese fight, or else it's not complete. 
The day is not complete without a Canada Goose Cake. Dragonflies. Um, there's an orange one right there. You'll see it in a second. Dragonflies are probably worse than hummingbirds for me <laughs> because they're smaller, they're faster, and you literally almost have to catch them when they land to get like they just don't stay in one place. But I love dragonflies because if you have seen one of my videos, I talk about how dragonflies are natural mosquito repellents. Like if you have a bunch of mosquitoes dragonflies are the ones for you to get rid of those bunch of mosquitoes uh, yeah so I I find them very interesting I think they're interesting to look at as well so I try to get them film them take pictures of them but it's hard it's hard to film or film dragonflies is even harder than taking pictures of dragonflies but we're gonna achieve something and um, this footage that you're gonna see that I'm gonna definitely get because I see one right now uh, I'm gonna oh <laughs> you see that's as quickly as they I'm like oh dragon oh wait fish what the heck is that so sometimes you have the little fishes that dive out of the water oh there goes the dragonflies again um oh, all right so I'm gonna also include some of this footage in the end of this video the what I shot today like a compilation of what I shot today I'm gonna include it in whatever footage I get of the dragonflies I'm gonna include in that shot fun stuff all right I'm gonna show you all something really interesting that I just saw and I'm gonna get some camera footage of it but look here it's a goose or a dog but look at the color no not the one for me it'll be back just gonna, just gonna all right y'all so that is going to be it for today's episode that is my bts of what i shot today um, I think I'm gonna do a, a lot more of these versus just regular vlogging my day. I think I'm gonna show you my process. I think that's fun. So expect more of the BTS, what, um, how I get my shots, um, the places I go to, and um, what I need to do for the shot. You've seen some, you know. <laughs> I don't think I recorded the part where I kind of kneeled and sand and on my knee hurts because I have like a little uh, rock burn through it, but it's not a big deal again it's part of it and the bees <laughs> i'm not sure if i got stung but whatever <laughs> okay i would know if i got stung anyways yeah so um today we saw a lot of hummingbirds we saw canada geese we're still with the canada geese the gray lag goose we saw a lot of bees we saw bees doing their thing we saw bees competing with the hummingbirds um at the feeder so that was fun we saw birds at the we saw birds at the water fountain drinking water I'm in Los Angeles, Kennehan Park. It's beautiful out here. Um, yes, that's it for this one, but don't go anywhere yet. I'm still gonna put, you know, like a little recap of what I shot today at the end and enjoy it. If you enjoy it, don't forget to like, subscribe, and especially if you totally enjoy any of the images that I create, I do have an online store where you can buy my art. <laughs> that is it for today uh what else what else i feel like i'm forgetting so oh yes i'm gonna be doing a whole bunch of documentaries mini documentaries about various places various wildlife i have done some already i did one recently on the egyptian egyptian goose i will be doing one on the canada goose i love gooses <laughs> and also on herons i absolutely love herons their feeding style their hunting styles and the types of herons that are out there because they're a variety so i will be doing a whole bunch of mini documentaries and urban life i think i talked about that um, on the other side they're com competing they want to talk yeah 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 see canada goose documentary right right canada goose documentary coming soon um so expect it all right that's gonna be it thank you for watching peace Thank you.